post-election period, ex-President Trump was told repeatedly by his campaign advisors, government officials, and others there was no evidence to support his claims of election fraud. Even since our last hearing, the Select Committee has obtained testimony from new witnesses who've come forward to tell us about their conversations with ex-President Trump on this topic. Here is one of his senior advisors, Hope Hicks. The January 6th committee has revealed a video of the top aide to former President Trump, Hope Hicks, discussing the conversations that happened with President Trump about the alleged election fraud. Trump has repeatedly claimed the election was stolen from him, despite no evidence to back up the ridiculous claim. And Hope Hicks is simply one more witness providing testimony on how Trump was repeatedly told to stop with the election fraud claims and how he continued to allege despite copious amounts of advice against it. Being evidence of fraud on a scale that would have impacted the outcome of the election. And I was becoming increasingly concerned that we were damaging, um, we were damaging his legacy. Uh, what did the president say in response to what you just described? He said something along the lines of, um, you know, nobody will care about my legacy if I lose, um, so that won't matter. Um, the only thing that matters is, is winning. For all the fact that I don't think this is going to amount to anything, I would love for it to, I would love to be proven wrong, but for all of that, it is nice to see people coming out of the woodwork to share at least a little bit of the truth, if not the whole truth, because we know Trump has been an absolute bully in the past and has given vague and veiled threats to people who threaten to speak out. They get a call. A person wants to let me know you have your deposition. He wants me to let you know he's thinking about you. He knows you're a team player. You're loyal and you're going to do the right thing. Is this the pressure that, that you experienced or you know others experienced? I did personally experience it because I disappeared. I, too, resigned that day. That is the kind of thing I think we can all agree that you that happened in the White House to speak out you know, you don't do it. You don't do it. And it would be met with that kind of a veiled who, who got, you know, uh, bullied or you know, talked to. But people are giving testimony now. And here's what the committee had to say after Hope Hicks' statements. Despite all that, he continued to purposely and maliciously make false claims, sometimes within a day of being told that a particular claim was false and unsupported by the evidence. By the time the Electoral College met, to cast its votes on December 14, 2020, a number of President Trump's senior staff, cabinet officials, and members of his family were urging him to facilitate a peaceful transition to the incoming administration. He disregarded their advice, and he continued to claim publicly that the election had been stolen from him. We have so much evidence against this man that if it was literally anybody else, they'd be in prison right now. But he's not. He hasn't been. He's not yet. Like I said before, I don't have much hope that this is actually going to turn into something that he's actually going to be arrested for anything. One can hope. One can dream. And uh, who knows? Maybe it will lead to something. Maybe I can be proven wrong. And you know what? At least we do have testimony. At least people are giving testimony. They are speaking the truth about what happened. And we have it down on paper. We have it down on video. And at least that's something. Thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, please like and share it. Consider subscribing to The Breakdown on YouTube, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.